So that's why we are here tonight. Because God said and God appointed a man of God in your life that's able to hear from God. Okay? So the Bible says, obey his prophets and so shall you prosper. So in other words, if you don't obey or if you don't obey the instructions that come forth out of my mouth, never guess what? You're not going to prosper. You may be established, but you can't prosper. Because the Bible clearly says, obey his prophets and so shall you prosper. In other words, the man of God has the vision. The man of God has the instructions for your life. Now, setting you up for my next point. I know by faith that every single person in this room has a promise or a vision or a goal from God that God has given you. And, the, and, and, and how I know this is not only because God spoke to me that He has this for everyone in this room, but if it was not so, you would not have been here listening to this message. There's a lot of people who were supposed to come here tonight, but because they're not here, that only means that they don't understand their vision that they have from God. Are you guys getting that? Okay. So, I don't have to ask you to lift up your hands or to declare the vision or the promise that God has given you because just because you're sitting in this room, I know that God has given you a promise or a vision. Am I right on that? Yes. If that's so, then someone, come on, someone say amen. I don't know about you. Okay. I want you to go to Proverbs 29. Verse number 18. What? Where is it? Old Testament, right after Psalms. What you say again? Proverbs. What? Proverbs 29, 18. When you're there, please say Amen. Amen. Proverbs 29, verse number 18. Would anybody like to read that for us? If not, I will be reading, but if someone would like to read it. I will read it. Chapter okay. 29. Uh, uh, chapter 29, verse 18. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Okay. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law... Stop. Say that again. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Okay. I want you to understand what the Bible is telling you. The Bible just said that where there is no vision, the people perish. The Bible is strictly telling you that if you do not have a vision from God, if you cannot see clearly where you are going, and if you don't have no kind of vision from God, you will perish. The word perish means to die. The word perish means to fade away, to wither away, to morally drop dead and die. So look what the Bible is saying. The Bible is saying where there's no vision, people perish. So in other words, if you look at people in society today, I don't mean to say this because I know we are on video, but if you look at some of the people who are on the street corners today, you will notice that they don't have a vision or a goal in their life. That's why they're on the street. Or you, they will tell you that at one time or one point, they had a vision, they had a goal, but they gave up on it. And that's why they're where they're at at this time. You've got to understand something. 
that when you don't have nothing to look forward to in the morning, you do not want to get up and face the day. Amen. You see, you got to realize that God instilled vision in you so that you can fulfill that vision, that promise, that goal, that purpose, why you are here on the earth. So if you lose that vision, it's not like you have to try to find your vision, but the thing is, you, you do need to find out what your vision is, or your promise, but then you need to continue to follow that vision. But if you fall away from that vision, I guarantee you, you will perish. Look at discouraged saints today, and look at, at a lot of the people who were born again, Holy Ghost filled, and they were on fire for God. But now some of the believers and some of the body of Christ, if you look at them and say, where are they today? Okay? You will see that they're not where they should be because they lost their vision from God. Because they got sidetracked from their vision. So here's what's happening. They're perishing in their walk with God. Now, I'm not saying if you don't have a vision, physically you're going to drop dead and die. But if you don't have a vision, you will lose your relationship with God. And you will end up one day dead. Why do I say that? Because if you don't have a vision from God, then apparently you must have your own vision. And the Bible says... There's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but at the end thereof, it is wrong. So, where there's no vision, people perish. So the reason why I brought you here today, the reason why God brought you here today, is for you to understand that you have a vision from God. In order for you, in order for you to fulfill your vision that God has given you, okay? Now, let's say everyone here has a vision which I know that you do. Let's say you know what your vision is. But now watch this. In order for God to fulfill your vision, does everyone here have a vision? Amen. Yes. Does everyone here have a goal? Amen. As you know, in the last weeks we've been speaking about order. In order for God to fulfill your vision, you need to get hooked up with a man that has a vision. Help him, get him where he's going, and God will fulfill your vision. You see, you cannot do your vision by yourself. God will always hook you up with a visionary so that you can help the man of God fulfill the vision that God has for his life and then God will, fu will fulfill your vision. That's the order that God has constructed this thing. You might say, well, Bishop, where is that? Well, doesn't your Bible say with the same measure you give will be the same measure meant back unto you? Amen. 